Hey guys, this is Eric back at you with a color tutorial and I had a lot of questions about user shapes, custom shapes in, inside color. So we're going to check this out. So let me do a little doctor into this shot. As you can see that there, he looks a little green. So I'm going to want to pull some green out of this shot. And I also want to pull a little bit of red out too. Kind of balance it out a little, and I'm going to brighten it up a tad. Okay, now here's what we got. Here's the before. See how green it is? Now here's the after. Okay, it looks really good. But what if I want to increase the saturation of his shirt, but and not the whole picture? or even just change the color of his shirt. Well, you got to use a custom user shape and that's under the secondaries tab. Go to your secondaries tab, make sure you enable your secondaries and enable your vignette. And under vignette, go to user shape. And that will automatically bring you to your geometry tab. And you can automatically go in here and start clicking out a version of your shape. This is kind of like rotoscoping. So let me go through here and mask off his shirt real fast now I'm gonna fix all this and I'll show you how to do the fix fix this here in just a second as soon as I get this mask off I'm just going about this fast I expect you guys to take a lot more time and precision with this with your work because coloring is such a big deal in post-production that it's not even funny okay now I have this shape masked off now all I can do is I can adjust my points like this or I could just go in and hit polygon and that will turn everything to square okay so I'm going to change it to polygon go back to to secondaries but before you go back to your secondaries make sure you attach your shape go up here and hit the attach button and that will attach your shape now go back to your secondaries tab and now you will see it's outlined and everything else is black and white now that's not the finished output this is just showing you your mask if you want to see what the finished output's going to look like you click this top red green and blue button the middle button just shows you what you're working on and desaturates everything else to, to isolate it for you. So I'm going to click the top button and so I can see exactly what it is I'm working on. Now up here in this control, this will determine if you're working on the inside of the mask or the outside of the mask. So if I set it to outside and I start lowering the saturation, everything outside of his shirt is going to be desaturated and his shirt's going to be the only thing colored kind of like a Sin City effect but that's not what we want to do I'm going to change this to inside so I can adjust the inside of the mask and I'm going to go over to my saturation I'm going to up the saturation and you see his shirt brightening up there a lot now it's like a lot bright blue um, just pops out a whole lot more now you can see the before here And you can go after his shirt just pops a lot more now you can go in and soften the edges up of your shape by going to the geometry tab and going to your softness and as you do this you can see that it feathers out and that's basically one use of user shape um, alternatively here's a picture of a flower you can do the vignette Go to user shape, go in here, and mask off your shape. Now I don't know if I'm going to have time to do this whole flower. And if I do have time to do the whole thing, it's not going to be very accurate. So you're all going to have to be very forgiving. But it'll give me the opportunity to show you how to adjust your shape once you've made it. If you need to go back and make any adjustments. Now as you can see, I'm zooming through this. I do expect much more from you guys. 
And again, I'd be happy to see anything you've done in a video response to this. I love seeing my viewers work. I love seeing how they can be creative and what they can come up with and how they can put a twist on what I'm showing them. Because usually my viewers are smarter than me and they can come up with a lot better stuff than I can. They just kind of use my stuff for a basis to get things rolling or to get an idea. And I think that's great. I think that's wonderful. I'm always, never cease to be impressed with what my viewers can come up with. Looks like we're almost finished. Okay, we'll close it. Now we have this um, shape. I'm going to soften it a little bit, like so. Now you can see these shapes need adjusted here. I'm going to go in and adjust them. Okay, now attach your shape. Go back to your secondaries. We're going to adjust the, I'm going to say outside, like we I did last time. And I can bring the saturation out. Now you can see we just have a flower over here that is um, colored and the background isn't. 